Hi, this is Marcella from Street of Passion and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the songs on our latest album, A War of Our Own. The Monster is one of multiple songs on this album that were inspired by the drug wars in Mexico. And this song is a little bit, you know, from the criminal perspective of things. And the underlying thought is basically, what could inspire someone into doing all these horrible things that these people do? Um, there's also a little bit of Spanish in the songs, which uh, are a couple of references to the Virgin Mary and Saint Death, which is our, which are uh, saints that sometimes uh, the drug cartel members uh, pray to, uh, which kind of meant to exaggerate. Uh, the contrast between these two parts of the personality, one that is very religious and one that is doing, is able to do very, very horrific things. Um, and it's kind of contradictory, so I thought it was interesting as well. So that's basically what the song's about. War of Our Own is a song that is also inspired uh, by the situation in Mexico, uh, but it's more uh, from the other perspective, the perspective of, of, of the innocent people, the people, uh, regular people. Um, I have the impression that all these things that have happened in the last few years, um, they have created, uh, they have had a very big impact on how people feel and they create this sense of uh, uh, restlessness and insecurity. Uh, Monterrey, the city where I come from, used to be a city of very uh, optimistic and very hardworking people. And nowadays that, that feeling, that good feeling is being a little bit, uh, you know, being brought down by everything that has happened. Um, so this song tries to represent that, that feeling of insecurity and restlessness and uh, how it reflects on how people feel and things that they do and how they worry about the ones that they love. The Curse was one of the first songs that we wrote for this album and it's inspired by, um, well, the struggle that most artists have to go through at some point in their lives to continue producing their art. Um, you know what you get this calling uh, to, to make art to make music um, well it can bring you a lot of satisfaction you know there's um, no greater feeling of being able to connect with people through art or through music so um, so it can be very very rewarding but at the same time it can ask of you to give up a lot more than you initially intended to, so um, in a way it's a gift because uh, it can bring you a lot of satisfaction and it can be very rewarding, but it's also a curse um, because it can ask of you uh, way bigger sacrifices than you ever intended to make. The song also asks a question I think that, that we all artists, most artists, most musicians have asked ourselves at some point and that is how far are you willing to go? To keep doing what you do, how far uh, will you take it, and how how many sacrifices are you willing to do in order to continue making music, making art? This house turned down, everyone left tainted, as we Autophobia is a song that was inspired by um, a friend of mine uh, who recently went through a divorce. You know, in Mexico, um, getting married and especially getting married at the church is still a really, really big deal. So, um, when you make that commitment, it's supposed to last forever. But it can also mean that when things are going wrong, uh, that you're gonna try to do that you're going to try to do everything that you can to make it work, which of course is logical. But um, also seen it that people will go through extra extents to hide what they're feeling and try to pretend that everything is okay. Uh, well, there's basically no 
reconciliation possible. And, you know, there's also a really big fear of being alone linked to this whole ending a very long relationship and ending a strong commitment. So um, these two things are uh, were the main inspiration for the song. Burning Star is yet another song that was inspired by uh, the current situation in Mexico. And, uh, well, basically the idea that um, in order to really bring a change in the country situation, uh, a revolution might be necessary. And I'm not talking about a, a literally a, an armed revolution, you know, actually setting stuff on fire, but more of an ideological revolution, you know, for all of us to open our eyes and realize that, um, that we need to stand up for each other in order to bring a change, uh, we can't keep turning our backs uh, away from injustice. We have to be, we have to try to be as righteous as we can. Um, we have to support our society. We have to support uh, everyone being able to get a better education and give family values the importance that they have. So this is basically the idea behind the song. ballad uh, from the album. I think it's uh, one of the darkest ballads that we've ever written and it's basically inspired on someone that I know um, and about this feeling that I think most of us have had at some point in our lives um, of searching acknowledgement, ser searching recognition from someone we admire, um, someone we look up to and like searching for this feeling, uh, uh, searching for this recognition and not being able to achieve it, whatever you do, it can be very devastating and it can really tear you apart uh, when you look up to someone all that much. So this is basically the, uh, the thoughts behind the song. Um, well, I've been living in Holland for almost six years now and uh, even though it was my own choice to live, uh, to come live here and leave Mexico, where I come from, um, it was still a little bit hard for me, you know, to adjust to this new environment and at some point I started wondering, because um, this was my own choice, what it would be like for someone who was actually uh, forced to live their own home, uh, you know, people uh, driven to live in exile. So I started reading stuff from authors like Mario Benedetti and uh, uh, Juan Gelman to get an idea of how this was like and um, it's basically what inspired this song, the idea that you might be able to find this link um, with the place that you're at, you know, with your new home, but there's still always this this need for closure, for going back to your roots and, uh, and going back home. So basically that's the inspiration for this song.